This is called Self-Portrait as Fish. This is actually a sculpture I did way back in the 90s, one of my earlier ones, and I remounted it and repainted it because it had, if I had stored it properly, it probably would have been okay, but uh, it was starting to come off the old backing that I had because, like I said, I hadn't stored it properly. And then I just, I really liked this sculpture a lot, and I was like, ah, I kind of want to update it with with the new paints that are so terribly fascinating to me. And I think the colors now look more fish-like than it did before. It was kind of uh, monotone before. So one of the reasons I love this, you see those marks on the cheek? That is actually puckering in the leather. When I got this piece of leather many, many, many moons ago, the company that I bought it from sent me a bunch of goat skin that had this weird texture to it. And I got just a few pieces like that and I've never been able to get it again. So I don't know what happened, if it was the way it was skinned, if it was a diseased animal, I have no idea, but I absolutely love that texture. And I'm kind of bummed out that I've never been able to find it again. Let's see this, the marks on the tail here. That's all from the leather. That's not anything I created. Those those little weird pucker marks, that was all from the leather. And as I said, I've had this piece for like a really long time. The I've learned so much about paint since I first started doing this that I just thought it'd be interesting to go and revisit something, something old make it updated and I'm just so digging these paints Ugh. that uh, eyeball right there is actually a glass fish eye it's a walleye eye so the pupil is uh, clear and actually I think the paint makes it stand out even more because it really makes the center glow look how that changes ah, it's so fascinating I love it. So you can probably expect to see way more of these kind of colors just because I really enjoy working with these.